This is a DeLorme InReach Explorer. It was released in 2014 along with another model called the InReach SE. The distinguishing feature between the two is this. Uh, the SE will have a yellow collar rather than an orange. But physically they're, they're the same and they both have the issue of this malfunctioning lock switch. The InReach allows me to send custom preset help and SOS messages. And I can send an SOS message by using this external button or through the menu system. If I were in a life or limb situation, I could press this SOS button for five to 10 seconds. And an SOS message would be triggered. This would go to a central command and the central command would dispatch the message to local authorities. So that's the way it's supposed to work. Unfortunately, uh, there's a malfunctioning lock switch. To prevent accidental triggering of the SOS message, there's the switch down at the bottom. And to lock it, you slide it over until you hear an audible click. So now that lock switch is, should be in place and this SOS message shouldn't, this SOS button, button should not be working. The problem is that it does. And if I apply pressure, an SOS message will be triggered. So here, so it was locked and now an SOS message is being sent anyway. The concern is that if this were in your backpack, the concern is that, that is if this were in your backpack with other gear, that pressure could be applied to this SOS switch or SOS button and trigger it accidentally without you even knowing. And this is, has happened to individuals um, where there are documented cases of this happening. Uh, and just to illustrate how this might happen, I want to use my headlamp. Imagine if my, my pack were full of stuff early on in a trip and my headlamp were pressed up against this unit. And I'll, go, I'll go ahead and lock it again, slide it over, and here's the audible click. And if I take the edge of my headlamp, if it just kind of happened that way, again, now we have an SOS message that's been triggered accidentally by pressure being applied from my headlamp. Needless to say, this is a problem, and I believe that the owner of the InReach family, now Garmin, which purchased DeLorme in 2017, should remedy this situation.